Uh, welcome to the official IBO press conference at the BMW IBO World Championships in Oberhof after women's relay. With us are the medal winners, gold Italy, silver Germany, and bronze for Sweden. Doro, can we start with you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, after Anholz, and it was not the first time you were thinking to quit biathlon, to finish. I'm thinking every day about that, yes. but I'm still here, so. <laughs> and now this medal with almost three generations of Italian biathletes winning a gold, first ever in your country's history. Was it worth these three years staying in biathlon for you? Mm, yes, I mean, uh, of course, uh, every year is different. There are some ups and downs in but I think every athlete has have some, uh, you know, moments where everything is really good, and then you have moments where maybe it's a little bit harder. But uh, it's like sport, you know, we are human. And but of course, the result of today, uh, it's like history for Italy. So um, it's really great to take part uh, of this uh, of this uh, race. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Samuela, you. Open this relay with no reloads, mm -hmm. <laughs> which brought a lot of peace for, for the other athletes. And it's also your first medal at the World Championships. <laughs> so how did you go through your leg and what does it mean to you to be in this team? Um, yes, I'm very, ha very happy today. Um, I just think to be focused on what I was doing and it works. So well, good. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Hannah, it's just maybe one month that you won your first IBU Cup. And today you had a very difficult position to bring the lead to Lisa, who we know is in great shape this season. Can you just tell us about this pressure and how you coped with it? Because you delivered big time. So I think I got really lucky that I had a similar experience in Antolz with the women's relay when I was really nervous at the standing shooting and uh, so I think I learned a, w a lot of, uh, from that situation and I tried to focus just on myself and not on the things that are uh, that surround me and I think it worked out even though it wasn't always easy <laughs> especially if you hear all the spectators and so on but uh, yeah I think I did my job good and I'm even more happy that I could uh, give Lisa the exchange uh, on first position. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Lisa, it, it was a perfect performance on a perfect day. Can you just take us to, through the last victorious lap? What did you feel you were carrying gold to the finish area? Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> really, really happy and uh, it's unbelievable that uh, we won. <laughs> uh, we, are, we were not... Uh, uh, the the, uh, the top uh, uh, team, but uh, today yes, <laughs> and uh, the last loop was uh, really incredible for me, and uh, also the the, the last Andy shooting was amazing, and uh, I realized that uh, uh, on the beer stag that uh, we we won, so uh, the last loop was really uh, incredible. And you know the only woman here with four medals, with one more chance to go. Still, any energies left? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, I. Uh, this World Championship, uh, it was uh, really um, perfect for me, uh, even if uh, I was ill the l the last weekend. But um, it missed uh, one one uh, race, and uh, of course the energy will come. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. Uh, Vanessa, you opened. Yeah. It, it, it works? Yeah. Hello. Yes. <laughs> you opened for Germany also with very good performance. Your form started to rise just in time to open this relay. So how did you prepare and to block out the expectations today? Yeah, for me it was not easy the last days. Um, but today, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that biathlon uh, didn't go away from one day to another day. So I know that um, 
I'm a good bite lead and I can do this. Um, and of course, it was nice that uh, the trainers um, give me this opportunity to go um, yeah, in my hometown uh, on the first leg in the relay. Uh, it was really nice for me and yeah, uh, I try to push um, from the first meters to have a good position. The first uh, loop was really fast, <laughs> but I know um, today can everything can happen. So um, just keep calm and um, yeah, try to do the best. Thank you, congratulations. Thanks. Hannah, you just returned to international biathlon, so to say mid-January. Yet now you are here, one of the stars of this team. Can you just talk about this very fast journey from being in SIG, then German Cup, and now sharing this medal? Um, yeah, my season started not as planned. Um, I was sick at the um, races in November, um, so and afterwards I was out of the team. And I started um, yeah, in Deutschland Pokal from the beginning. Um, I had one weekend there and yeah, the, I saw that my shape isn't so bad even though I was for two weeks sick. So I got the opportunity to race in Pokliuka and yeah, I had a great weekend there. I saw that um, my running shape was really good and that I can also um, yeah, have good shooting times and good shooting results. So. After that weekend with three podiums, I, um, I got the chance to compete at the World, uh, at World Cup in Antols. And yeah, I showed my potential and I'm really happy that our coaches believed in me and gave me the opportunity to, uh, to go to the World Championships. Um, yeah, and now I'm here and I think I did great races in the sprint in pursuit. And yeah, this medal is really special and I think yeah, it, yeah, it's it's just crazy and a little bit unbelievable that my journey went from Deutschland Pokal to a medal at a world championship. Well done and congratulations, Sophia. A lot was expected from you, especially knowing you grew through this championship and your amazing ski speed, not uh, ski speed, not just here but throughout the season. So, how did you approach your leg, knowing? You almost need to bring the knees a good position. Um, yeah, of course, I knew that I'm in a good shape because uh, also the sprint and the pursuit were really good, especially in skiing. So I knew that I have to attack the Italians and um, yeah, try to, to go high speed and um, push in the first uh, loop. So yeah, it, it went well. But I didn't feel so good as in the sprint and in the pursuit, so I tried to, to keep some energy for the second and third leg and uh, then be focused on the shooting. And yeah, the shooting went okay. So um, yeah, after the prone, I, I tried it again on the track and um, yeah, uh, tried to put the others under pressure on the track. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Denise, it's a third medal, but can you just tell us about the pride of your achievement and also carrying this team for Vanessa is, I think, second World Cup season. For Sofia, first full. Hannah only has a few weeks in the World Cup, yet you build this silver team today. Yeah, it's really cool to see the young girls growing higher and higher on the World Cup season and also from last year. And they have a really offensive, uh, yeah, uh, time to ski and also to attack the competition and yeah it's r really impressive also for me to uh, to see this motivation in the girls and i think for the next years we can uh, look forward to uh, another interesting races and it's really cool to be part of a team and um yeah, also when i'm a bit older i am doing vital not that long time and yeah, we try to have some advices for each other and sharing si the, the situations also today. We uh, have a short feedback after every leg and how are the hard parts on the track. And it was really cool also to, uh, yeah, to how we can work the day before for the day. And yeah, we uh, use 
the situation today and it was really cool to uh, yeah to get a medal now for the whole team it's not just the athletes who are sitting here it's uh, the team around the team and also the girls who are, n who are not competing today and it's a big motiv motivation for us for what was the goal for the whole summer and also for the next year so it's a big motivation well done and congratulations uh, Lynn, you did what was expect expected from you and what you usually do you brought number one to to anna so how did you do it again uh, well i maybe didn't have the best start but uh, it uh, went quite well quite well in the standing shooting also in the last leg. thank you and congratulations <laughs> thanks anna it was a tough tough leg for you but some somehow you survived and still it's a medal so <laughs> Uh, yes, How I'm, did you alive. Go the <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> um, it was a really t tough standing shooting. It was not. I'm not so. I'm of course not happy with that, but I'm really happy that I have these um, strong girls as my teammates. So they made this medal possible, and I'm very happy to be a part of this team. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Elvira, it's good to see you back. How are you doing? Uh, it's uh, it's been a tough a tough week. Uh, I wasn't this morning. I was still not sure that I'll be able to race. So it's been a tough couple of days and a race against the clock. So I'm really really happy just to be able to start today and to to finally take my first world championship medal with these girls. It's uh, it's amazing. Can you tell us how did your energy levels swing through your leg? Uh, it was. Uh, I really feel that my body is far from the best shape, so I had to try and be smart and not go go too hard in the uphill. And uh, I think I, we had we had gr great skis today, so that really definitely helped a lot. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Hannah. It's a medal number three, and you carried this team at the end to the medal. So how did it go for you? You were in a sort of no land zone sort of defending bronze but trying to maybe catch up the girls in front of you yeah i think i had a pretty inspirational starting position for my leg and uh, yeah i i knew that it was still possible to uh, to go for for even better position but um it was also not so far uh, to uh, france and, and czech republic behind and uh, i'm really happy that elvira managed to get some seconds uh, that there in the end so i i had a um, uh, I had a gap, um, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy about my my leg, especially the the standing shooting, and um, yeah, I'm very very happy to uh, to be able to uh, share this medal with with these girls, and um, yeah, we have uh, for Sweden this is a record championship, so uh, I'm just enjoying. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you very much.